Hey, what's up guys? MLT Magic Tricks here, and in today's video, I'm going to be revealing Andrew Lee's knife-throwing magic trick that he did on Britain Scott Talent. And if you guys have not seen the performance already, I will be leaving the link in the description to it. And if you are new here to my channel, make sure you subscribe for all of the reveal videos for Britain Scott Talent Magic Acts. And I also post card and magic trick videos on my channel as well. And also, um, we are coming up on 40,000 subscribers, and once we hit that milestone, I will be having a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway that will be taking place on the channel so once again if you are new here make sure you subscribe and anyways guys let's get right into this reveal okay so i'm going to start off this reveal video by first talking about his setup within the deck of cards and then i will get into the other parts of his act later in the video so first of all for the deck of cards what he's going to have is a duplicate set of the two of hearts so he's going to have two two of hearts with the same back and just pretend here i have you know two two of hearts but it really does not matter for this demonstration so what he's going to do with the first two is use some sort of uh, sharp edge like an exacto knife to cut out a corner and the reason i'm saying he used an exacto knife or some sort of sharp edge is because of this screenshot it looks like the edges and the tear are really sharp and it just does not look like he teared it but rather used some sort of sharp edge to cut out the corner so for the first two of hearts he's going to use that exacto knife to cut out the corner he's going to take the corner and just toss it he does not need it so this first two of hearts is not going to have a corner uh, on it and I will explain what he does with this card later in the reveal video now with the second two of hearts This is going to be the two of hearts that is going to be used with the deck of cards that he has on stage And what he's going to do here is take the exacto knife and kind of cut it a little bit But not to the point where you're going to tear it He's just going to cut it so it's easy to tear on stage and he's going to make sure it is the exact same pattern or the exact same way he cut the first two of hearts because he needs to make sure that these two cards are identical to each other so at this point with two two of hearts one more time here guys the first one the corner is already going to be taken out the second one there's going to be a small incision by the exacto knife so it's not fully uh, you know cut but it's just it's cut to the point where it's really easy to tear so now at this point once again guys i'll explain what he does with this two of hearts later he's going to have uh the two of hearts with the incision at the bottom of the deck here and you guys can even see in the video he has the two of hearts at the bottom because he's going to force this two on to the host he does a pretty simple card force he just does a dribble force so he swing cuts some of the cards into his other hand like this he maintains a break and wherever the host said stop so he's going to dribble down the cards he'll end on the break just like that no matter where the host says stop and then he'll go ahead and force that two onto him just like that and this is the part where he tears the card so he has the two He's tearing the card and it's really easy because there's already an incision from the knife or whatever he used to cut the corner. And you guys will notice he has the host tear off the corner. He doesn't have, you know, the host tear from the beginning because he could risk uh, the corner being a lot different than the first two of hearts he has. So at this point, he had the host hold on to the corner of the two of hearts he just tore. And then he went ahead and put this two of hearts on top of the deck. And guys, it's really important to keep in mind here that the, the card at the top here is going to have some double-sided tape. So when he puts the two of hearts that has a tear, he is going to put it on top of the deck and it's going to stick. So when the other host throws all the cards in the air, no one's going to see the two of hearts with the tear in it again because it is going to be stuck to uh, the card that is on the top of the deck. So now you guys are probably thinking if uh, the two of hearts that he just tore is on top of the deck, how did it end up on the board with the knife? So I'm going to be talking about that right now. And what I'm going to say first is that Andrew Lee actually did not throw the knife. And instead of me just saying he didn't throw the knife because it's way too dangerous and it seems absolutely impossible that the card ended up on the board, I'm going to be talking about and giving you guys some evidence as to why Andrew Lee really did not throw the knife. So first of all, the only way this trick would really be possible if he did throw the knife is if he palmed off the two of hearts that has a tear in it, he palmed it off the deck, put it in his pocket before he was getting ready to throw the knife. And before he throw it, uh, threw the knife, he would have, you know, put that two on the knife. And then when he throws it, it would somehow, it would be stuck on the board that the host is holding. But you guys can see from this screenshot, this is right before he supposedly threw the knife. There is no card on top of the blade there. You cannot see any card. And the other point I'm going to talk about right now as to why he did not throw the knife is right after this camera angle here, the camera switches to this angle. We, there's no point in the video where we see the knife actually leave his hand. And that is a really important piece of evidence to back up the claim as to why he did not throw the knife. We do not see the knife leave his hand. And guys, Andrew Lee actually performed this exact same routine on Asia's Got Talent. I will leave the link to that video in the description. I watched that video 
And the same thing happened. The camera angle switched right before he threw the knife and, and then, you know, the knife appeared on the board. I will talk about that in a second, how the knife got on the board with the card. So going back to what I was just talking about, both times we could not see the knife leave his hand. So this leads me to believe that Andrew Lee actually did not throw the knife. But now the question is, how did a knife appear on the board with the two of hearts stabbed through it? So in regards to the two of hearts, remember he's going to have a duplicate set. He's going to have the two of hearts here torn out the, in the exact same way that he did on stage. And now I'm going to explain how the box may have allowed the knife to basically appear out of thin air. So there's going to be some sort of uh, contraption in the box that allows the knife to basically spring out with the card stabbed through it. And the reason I'm saying this is because there's no evidence or no camera angle that we can see that shows the knife in the air. And the same thing goes for his performance on Asia's Got Talent. And even if you slow down the video of his performance at this camera angle here, you cannot see the knife in the air at all. So between the two of hearts not being on the blade of his knife, the camera angle switch at the peak of his throwing motion right before he would release the knife, and the fact that we cannot see the knife in the air at all, even at this camera angle, leads me to believe that there is some sort of contraption in the box that the host is holding that allows the knife basically to spring out, whether someone off stage is pressing a button at the right time that allows that knife to spring forward with the two of hearts, you know, stabbed right through it. So if that is the case, that is how Andrew Lee would pull off this trick. And what I'm going to do right now is kind of do a quick summary of what I've talked about in this reveal video for how Andrew uh, pulled off this effect. So one more time guys, he's going to have a duplicate pair of the two of hearts. One before the trick is going to have the corner torn out. But once again, guys, he probably used an X-Acto knife to get a good you know tear. So he's gonna take the corner, he doesn't need it. He's going to load this two of hearts with the knife in the box or however that works. He's going to put the two of hearts with the corner torn out already in the box. He's going to do it the exact same way with this two of hearts here. But remember, he's not going to tear it all the way. He's going to put a small incision in the exact same way that he did uh, with the first two of hearts here. So when he forces the card and tells the host and everyone that's going to tear the corner, it makes it easy for him to tear it. And that it, so it is the exact same tear that is in the two of hearts that is in the box. And, you know, once the host tears off the corner, so he puts the two of hearts on top of the deck. And remember, the card here is going to have some double sticked tape. So when he puts the two of hearts on, it sticks to this card. And then when the host throws all the cards in the air, we cannot see the two of hearts again. And also, guys, uh, Andrew Lee, remember, does not throw the knife because of the camera angle switch and the fact that the two of hearts is not, not on the blade uh, at the camera angle that I showed you guys, where I showed you the screenshot, you know, where there's no two of hearts on the blade. And also, at no point uh, can we see the knife in the air. And also, it would just be way too risky if something went wrong in this act because if he does not hit the target when he throws a knife, the host would be seriously injured, maybe even killed, and that would be a huge problem for Britain's Got Talent moving forward. And I honestly do not think the producers of Britain's Got Talent would allow a contestant to be blindfolded and throw a knife at the host because, like I just said, if something goes wrong, it can create a lot of problems for Britain's Got Talent moving forward. And also something else to keep in mind here is that the uh, auditions for Britain's Got Talent were filmed months back. So this allowed the editors of the show to have a lot of time to create uh, you know, a video that is convincing to everyone at home who is watching to create the illusion that Andrew Lee threw the knife. But in reality, when he was finishing his throwing motion, he must have put it in his pocket really quickly uh, because he wanted everyone to think that he threw the knife. And same with the producers of the show and video editors. They want to make an entertaining video uh, to that seems really dangerous because, you know, obviously an act like this will get a lot of views and will become really popular to bring a lot more attention to the show. So that is my reveal uh, for Andrew Lee's act. And guys, everything I've explained in this video is by no means the uh, exact method that Andrew Lee used to pull off this trick. This is simply my speculation and analysis. And throughout this video, I showed you guys a lot of evidence. So that is what I try to do in these reveal videos, show you guys evidence from the act to back up these claims I'm making. So it's really important guys to know that, uh, you know, everything I explained in this video is by no means the exact method that Andrew Lee used to pull off this trick. It is, in my opinion, the most uh, plausible way 
to pull off an effect like this. And also in the comment section below, leave your opinions on my reveal. Let me know how you think he did this act because I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. But that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you are new here to the channel, make sure you subscribe because once we hit that 40,000 subscriber milestone, I will be having an Amazon gift card giveaway on the channel. But that is gonna do it. Once again, leave your opinions and thoughts on the reveal in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.